Well, there's no question that uh, cancer today is a lot more aggressive than 15 years ago. Uh, that's number one. Number two, there's no question that the incidence of cancer is, is rising. And number three, that the age of a, 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 a parishion of cancer or, acquire, or, or a person acquiring cancer is getting down. So we have younger patients with cancer with more aggressive cancers in, in a lot more numbers. And the reason for that definitely has to be our lifestyle. Uh, we are just consuming too many chemicals. We're, we're being exposed to too many chem chemicals, and I am convinced that that is the reason for the increase, increase in the incidence, the aggressivity, and the uh, 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 fact that younger people are acquiring cancer. Cancer uh, um, research and cancer therapy is, is like a big puzzle. And, uh, uh, you know, there, there's, there's a group of people in the conventional realm that believe that they have all the pieces to the puzzle, but they haven't been able to put them together. And, and, and on the other side, we have a group of people on the alternative realm that also believe that they have all the pieces to the puzzle. From my point of view, that, that's absolutely wrong. Neither the conventional uh, 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 world of uh, oncology has all the pieces to the puzzle, nor the alternative. And so at the Oasis of Hope, for the last 50 years, we have been uh, uh, implementing uh, an integration of the alternative methods with the conventional wisdom. And uh, the reason for our success has been precisely that we're using pieces of the puzzle from both sides, and, and thus we, we're getting a much better picture of, of what cancer is. For instance, <clears throat> Most of the, uh, uh, um, uh, let me see what, what the word would be, most of the thrust in, in the direction that the conventional realm is taking is that cancer is a genetic disease. Uh, and there's no question that there is a genetic component to cancer. The genes are mutated. We have oncogenes uh, that, that promote cancer. But on the other hand, uh, we, we know that in order for those mutations to happen, there has to be a, a biological or a metabolical component to it. And uh, the uh, variations or the variants to resolve the cancer uh, uh, puzzle through genetics is, is extremely complicated and expensive. While addressing cancer from the metabolic point of view, the variables are much less, it's much easier to address, and at a much lower co cost. So at the Oasis of Hope Hospital, we're putting a lot of emphasis on the metabolic uh, 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 characteristics of cancer and how to address this. And uh, by addressing that, you are addressing the genetic, the genetic uh, entity. For instance, a, a, a gene a, a mutation will make uh, an upregulation of the production of, of a certain protein. And, and so the conventional uh, world is attacking that gene. Well, the production of that protein depends on a number of nutrients. Metabolically, at a much lower cost, we can impede that cell that has a mutation to produce that protein by blocking it with nutrients. <clears throat> and uh, I am convinced that that is the reason for our success. Uh, if you look at our statistics in comparison to anybody else in the world, we are faring a lot better than anybody else. Our, our, our five-year survival survival rates are much. <laughs>